So in this video, we'll be seeing how to execute the shell code using Windows API. To use Windows API in Rust, we need to use Windows API create. So here you can see you can search for Windows API in crates.io and you will see this win API create. So all you need to do is copy this one and paste this in your cargo.toml file. So here in this JSON, we have the version number and we have these features. So in these uh, modules, we have the functions. There is a documentation for this create win API and here you can see different modules. C types to give the data types that are compatible to the C language and kernel mode and shared between this user mode and kernel mode and user mode. So we'll be using uh, the user mode functions. So let's click on this UM and here you can see all of these uh, modules. So these are called features and to use some feature you need to add like this features is equals to win user and process threads API, memory API and other APIs. So you can uh, search for the functions here, say let's say virtual airlock. So if you search for this function, it gives you all the functions. And here you can see the memory API is the feature. So you can add features is equals to memory API. So like that, you want to add all of these uh, modules. So let's go and import those virtual airlock, virtual free and virtual protect. So use win API colon colon um that is user mode so in this uh, you can see all of these uh, imported modules and in this we are going to use memory api and here you can import multiple using the braces virtual airlock virtual free and virtual protect you can also define uh, your own function signatures for this virtual airlock. You can uh, import those functions using extern, but it takes so much time, just like we did in the C sharp. So we have imported all of these functions and defined those signatures and used them in our code. But this crate already provides all the function signatures, so you no need to define them again. You can directly write the code. I have also generated the shell code from Metasprite. So let's go and see what the shell code is about. And the shell code that pops the calculator uh, F sharp. So F uh, sorry, uh, format is uh, C sharp. So this is very close to the uh, Rust arrays. So copy this one and add the rectangle brackets. And you need to change this to U8. So by default each and every byte will be considered as i32 and we don't want that so change this to u8 now we have our shell code ready so let's go and write the code to inject the shell code so virtual airlock we need to allocate some memory and the first one is a null pointer because we are going to tell os to choose particular region for us automatically And the second one is size size of the uh, memory we want to allocate so that is uh, length of the shell code shell code dot length and the next one is allocation type so we'll be using mem commit so this will be uh, committed and filled with zeros and the next one is memory uh, protection that is uh, we can use read write execute you can also say a uh, page uh, read write for now after copying the shell code you can change that to read execute so the return uh, return value from this function is the base uh, address or the simply the address where this uh, memory has been allocated so let's say base pointer And if uh, get last error is equals to is equals to zero, then only we are going to uh, uh, execute our shell code. 
else what we can say is virtual airlock failed get rust error so the memory has been allocated now we want to copy our shell code into that uh, address so we can do this using two ways using a write process memory or simply using std pointer copy so this is very simple to use uh, if you are uh, injecting uh, into the other process uh, then we can use windows api so copy so it takes three uh, parameters the first one is pointer to the uh, array so uh, sir pointer to the type and the destination is notable type and the size so the first one is base uh, sorry shell code array we are going to convert this into as pointer and we are going to again cache this as u8 array because this is the u8 array and we want to be treated this pointer as pointing to the u8 array now base pointer as mutable u8 so that uh, these two types should be same so it will do the copy uh, copy by uh, u8 bytes that is one byte now we need to say how much we want to copy so we want to copy the full shell code dot length now the shell code has been uh, copied we can just simply create a a thread at that uh, uh, address so create thread and the first one is thread attributes we don't want to specify any and the stack size uh, zero parameter is also zero and creation facts zero so the thread will uh, execute immediately and the thread id so let's say let mute thread id is equals to zero and pass this as mutable so this is similar to the uh, reference keyword in the c sharp and here we missed one parameter that is this uh, address so this uh, let's search for this create thread and here you can see this third one is uh, a pointer to thread start routine so if you click on that again click on that and you can see here this is the uh, option type so option contains two values some or none so it is uh, of type uh, external function which takes lp void so if you click on this lp void this is also a mutable raw pointer so you can see mutable raw pointer and that will be sent as a parameter and output is the d word uh, 32 bit integer so uh, what we can do is we can say sum of transmute so this transmute will automatically convert into that uh, particular parameter type so all we need to do is you need to pass the base pointer and that's it and the return value is uh, thread handle so i think uh, this should work uh, we can also uh, print these values thread id thread handle and we can uh, use this function wait for single object so this will block our main process until the thread gets uh, stop so we can pass thread handle and this one is 0x so we can pass like that for infinite time we are going to print this in a hexadecimal uh, format so so i think we are good to go so let's go and run this one 
so we need to run this in the release mode uh, then it will be building as 64 bit otherwise our program will run in 16 bit uh, or even 32 bit so run this one and here you can see the calculator get popped up and there are some other ways to execute this as well using the function pointers so let's comment this one we have already seen in the uh, we have already seen executing shellcode through the function pointers anyway let's go ahead and convert this one transmute and the first uh, the type source type is mutable raw pointer and we are going to convert this into a function and pass in the base pointer so the base pointer is getting passed as mutable raw pointer and it will be converted into function pointer so let's say run is equals to this one and run is now a function so we can just simply call this one and let's go and again execute this and you see the calculator so this is uh, how you can execute the shell code using windows api